All right, guys, in this video, I'm gonna be taking a look at an interior upgrade that has been a long time in the making. This is 5.0 Resto's console top panel with the dual cup holder insert, designed for the 1987 to 1993 Fox Body Mustangs. I am super excited to show you guys this, so let's check it out. This is why we live by the catchphrase, the real Fox Body enthusiast. The Fox Mustang preservation artists at 5.0 Resto have done it yet again. They have finally developed this one of a kind exclusive console top panel with a dual cup holder insert. For as long as I can personally remember, Fox Mustang owners have been longing for a credible solution to Ford's missing cup holder dilemma found in the 87 to 93 Fox Mustangs. This console top panel took months of trial and error and several revisions before the 5.0 Resto perfectionists were able to give the final stamp of approval. The panel itself started out as a 3D rendered image and then further dialed in via CAD to provide a precise fit. The texture and grain closely, and I mean closely, match that of the factory top panel. It attaches to the car just like the factory panel and has the correct provision for the power mirror switch and the e-brake handle. Of course, instead of the far outdated ashtray, you'll find a provision for the dual cup holder, which features a removable insert for easy cleaning. Each cup holder is approximately 1.98 inches deep and 2.95 inches wide. 5.0 Resto also incorporated a slot in between the cup holders to fit applicable mugs and cups that have some sort of handle attached to them. Adding to the already close attention to detail, the coin tray was oversized to fit most applicable handheld devices and other personal items. Now, as far as fitment is concerned for the top panel, it is designed to fit all 1987 to 1993 Fox Mustangs equipped with the power mirror switch. Because the cup holder insert deletes the ashtray, the cigarette lighter electrical connection will simply remain unplugged underneath the new top panel. Currently, the top panel is sold in a kit with a new rubber e-brake seal and retainer. On that note, you'll have to either melt the plastic tabs or seal the e-brake retainer with some sort of rubber or plastic safe adhesive. The console top panel was molded in a neutral gray color and will need to be prepped and painted to closely match your Fox's interior color. While I'm on the subject of paint, LMR.com has just about every interior color available on the site for 87 to 93 Mustangs. Our paint closely matches the OE color and it's PPG based. Each paint can is currently 12 ounces in size and features an easy spray nozzle. Now I'm going to be prepping, painting, and installing this console top panel into our 1990 GT. It does have black interior and you will see the seats removed from the car because I'm taking the time to thoroughly clean the interior. So without further ado, let's get the show on the road. First, locate and remove the armrest access covers. This is easily done with the small plastic pry tool. Once both of the covers are removed, loosen and remove the hardware, securing the armrest to the car. This car has an armrest delete panel, so all I had to do was simply lift up to remove it from the center console. Loosen and remove the two Phillips head screws, securing the top panel to the bracket on the floor. Pry up on each side of the shifter bezel to release all of the clips. Roll it over the shift knob to get it out of your way. Loosen and remove the two Phillips head screws, securing the top panel to the center console. Pull up on the e-brake. Lift up the top panel from the rear and locate the two electrical connections. Carefully dislodge the harness clip from the center console. This is the cigarette lighter connection. Lift up on the tab and disconnect the connection. Remove the electrical connection from the power mirror switch. With both connections now disconnected, pass the top panel over the e-brake handle to remove it from the car. Take this time to thoroughly clean and vacuum the area. If you are transferring your power mirror switch, simply depress the four small tabs while pushing out on the switch. I'm gonna be installing a new one in this video. Be sure and test fit the power mirror switch into your new top panel. The goal here is a nice snug fit. You may have to lightly file some of the molding flash from this opening. These tolerances can and will vary from panel to panel. Now we can prep the panel for paint. Lightly scuff the top and bottom of the panel with a gray Scotch-Brite pad. Don't apply too much pressure. Once the entire panel has been scuffed, thoroughly clean it with a lint-free microfiber towel and a wax and grease remover, such as our vinyl prep. Thoroughly shake the paint can. In a well-ventilated area, spray the underside of the top panel first. This process is referenced as cutting in. The reason you'll want to paint the top last is because any additional overspray will accumulate on the underside of the panel, which will not affect the finished look of the top. For the bottom of the panel, ensure that the edges and openings are completely covered in paint. Make overlapping passes with medium arm speed. 
be sure and apply light coats. The other areas aren't too important because they won't be seen. Allow the panel to dry for approximately 30 minutes. Flip the panel over and place it on a small box. Begin spraying the top side of the panel using the same technique as you did for the bottom. Rotate the panel to ensure a full complete coverage. Apply enough coats until the panel is completely painted. Once the panel has had adequate time to dry, it's time for assembly. Align the small groove on the power mirror switch with the top panel and push it into place. Flip the top panel over and install the e-brake seal. Then install the plastic retainer. At this point, you can use a plastic and rubber safe adhesive or a small soldering iron. I like factory-like finishes, so I'll be melting the tabs just like Ford originally did. Allow the soldering iron to warm up to operating temperature. Push down on the retainer with your pointer finger. Apply downward pressure to the tab with the soldering iron. Once the tip reaches the retainer, roll the tip back and forth to bond the two plastics. Keep downward pressure with your finger until the plastic cools off. Repeat these steps for the remaining tabs. To reinstall the new top panel, ensure that the e-brake is still engaged. Position the panel over the e-brake. Lift up on the rear of the panel and connect the power mirror electrical connection. Be sure and push down on the switch when reconnecting the connection. The cigarette lighter connection will simply remain unplugged. Position the top panel into place and reinstall the four Phillips head retaining screws. Reinstall the armrest or delete panel and the two access covers. Reinstall the shifter bezel and make sure the clips snap into place. Finally, install the provided cup holder insert. Double check your work and then enjoy your new 5.0 Resto top panel with the cup holder insert. All right, wrapping things up here, guys. The install itself is pretty easy. Prepping and painting the top panel, it's also easy. When dealing with intricate parts like this console top panel, be sure and take your time and work as methodical as possible. This really is some awesome stuff, fellas. A console top panel with a dual cup holder insert from 5.0 Resto, the weight's over. I would highly recommend this top panel to any and all 87 to 93 Mustang owners. So go ahead and pick you one up along with the new power mirror switch and some paint and get your Fox restoration project totally dialed in. To see more product reviews and install videos covering industry leading products like this, be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like this video and don't forget to turn on notifications. While you're at it, check out our other videos and don't forget to shop the real Mustang enthusiasts, LMR.com for all things 1979 to present Mustang and SVT Lightning.